welcome back to my channel. Like today, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. And um, what I did was that I just sent out a snap, you know, to ask anyone to just kind of send me a snap and let me know what um, video you want to see this week. And the first person who sent me the snap is her username is Wonder Sparks, and she asked to do a inspired makeup look of Gigi Hadid, who is the new one of the new Victoria's Secret angels and. Honestly, I have never like been so into the whole Victoria's Secret modeling or in the modeling scene in general. Like, of course, I know the big guns, but I, I, I've heard of Gigi Hadid, but I never really took the time to actually look at her makeup and like look through pictures of her. So when I got that snap, I looked through Pinterest and I saw all her makeup looks, and I really, really, really liked all of it because she has this kind of. Um, like natural glow kind of look going on and of all the pictures that I saw on Pinterest I was very drawn to this one which I will put right now and I'm gonna try and recreate it for you guys and I think it'll be a good look for Christmas parties and I think I'm a bit late for Thanksgiving but um, yeah since the festive season is coming up um, I thought that this would be a great one it's like a very nice simple eye look and bold purple lips and I do have to say that I really really am a big fan of Gigi Hadid's makeup because it's so simple and natural and I love it like almost all her makeup looks are almost the same it's just that it's either you know she wears eyeliner or she doesn't or she wears like a really bold lip like the picture that I just showed you guys so I'm gonna talk through this tutorial but hopefully it will not take so long because it's a rather simple one and if my hair is flying around as always I have a fan beside me because my aircon's broken and I don't want to sweat buckets in front of the camera and because you know I saw this Pinterest picture of her I thought I would wear and do up my hair in a bun just like how she has in that picture and I'm wearing like a lace top so yeah I'm just trying to play the part. But without wasting any more time, let's get on with the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is use my um, Makeup Forever Step 1 Radiant Primer in the shade Cool Pink and I'm just going to place that all over my skin. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using a radiant foundation or rather the most radiant foundation I own and that's the NARS um, Stay Wait, what is this called? Oh, this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I've done a review and demo on this and I will link that down below or as always at the card section which is the little eye that you can see at the top right hand corner of your screen. And then I'm going to use this new brush that I got from the Tarte Holidays brush collection set thing. And I think this is a like a, a blending kabuki foundation brush and I'm just going to buff that on my use this to buff the foundation on my skin. I'm going to be using my my favourite concealer right now which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Skin Concealer and I'm just going to place this under my eyes and wherever that I have like blemishes and to blend out my concealer I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender Before I set my under eye concealer, I'm actually going to do a little bit of cream contouring and to do that, oops sorry, to do that I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder New Dimension Scalp Shape and Scalp Face Kit um, and I also did a first impression and demo and review on this kit as well so basically it's just a cream contour and slowly I'm just going to just put it at the hollows of my cheek. and just hit this area and a little bit on my jawline and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that all out mm -hmm. 
Now to set um, my under eye concealer and all the cream products on my face, I'm going to be using a new product that I also bought recently and it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've been using this powder for about a week and I really like the finish of it. And I'm going to tap off the excess and just set the under eye area. Then to powder the rest of my face, I'm going to just switch it up to a big powder brush. And then we're going to move on to the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going to be using a paint pot. And this is the MAC paint pot in Indian wood, which is just like a gold um, base. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is the Naked One actually, the Naked One Palette. So the first shade I'm going to use is the shade called Half Baked. And guys, seriously, this eyeshadow is super easy. Like. I think most of y'all can recreate it. So um, yeah, I'm going to use the shade Half Baked and I'm actually going to take it with a fluffy brush instead of like a packing brush. And I'm going to take the shade called Naked First which is a um, like light brown shade. And I'm just going to start placing this into the crease. taking the shade called Buck which is a darker brown colour and I'm really just going to take a little bit of this and concentrate it in the outer part of my eye. And then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that all out. For the inner corner of the eye, she has like a really strong highlight. I have the picture like right there. So I'm actually going to take the shade called Virgin, which is this shade right here, the first one. And on a flat shader brush, I'm packing this on and tapping off a lot of the excess. And I'm just going to put that in the first, like the inner half of my eye or rather the inner one third of my eye and drag it down to the inner eye corners and down here. Then I'm going to take the fluffy brush and just blend everything out. And then I'm just going to go in with Half Baked again just to kind of mesh and blend everything together nicely. I'm going to take a, a flat definer brush that looks like that, just a flat one. And I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow. I'm just going to take Makeup Geeks Corrupt. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to draw a very, very, or rather stamp a very thin line of black eyeshadow to act as an eyeliner um, on my top uh, lash line because I'm not going to use any liquid or gel eyeliner today. I'm just going to take the same shade called Virgin and I'm going to put it like on my brow bone. So... Okay, now the next step is to put on some lashes and I'm going to curl my lashes first and put on a coat of mascara and today I'm going to be using my Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. And then for my lashes, she has really like long wispy lashes kind of and I only have um, I have three pairs of lashes and out of the three, I think the Demi Wispies are the one that is the most similar, at least to me. Um, so I'm sorry about that, that I keep using these lashes. But these lashes, these lashes are like really nice and easy to put on. I don't have to trim them and it just really gives a lot of volume and length and it's just really nice. So I'm going to pop these lashes on and I'll be right back. Now that the lashes are on, I'm going to take that black eyeshadow again with a flat definer brush and just stamp over the lash band so like just to hide it. Now for the lower lashes uh, or the lower lash line, I'm going to take a pencil brush that looks like that and I'm going to take the shade um, Buck which is the brown shade and I'm just going to buff that under my lower lash line or rather on my lower lash line really lightly because there's not much happening underneath the eye but I just want to define it. I'm going to coat my lower lashes with my mascara as well.
Now for the brows, Gigi Hadid doesn't have like super neat and like you know like structured brows which is something that I find very interesting. It's kind of like Cara Delevingne. Um, so I'm just gonna lightly fill it in with this Urban Decay Brow Beater Microfine Brow Pencil and Brush which I have been really enjoying. So I'm just going to outline the shape of my brows and fill the sparse areas. Then I'm just going to take the spoolie end and brush it through. Moving on to blush, I'm taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and I'm going to mix um, the shades Incandescent Electra and Mood Exposure and I'm going to mix them both together and pop them on my cheeks. And again, this is because I want to achieve that luminous glow which will be amplified when I place my highlighter on later. So it's been something that I'm so excited about and I've been using it and I love it and I'm obsessed with it and I now understand why everyone is. I finally got my hands on Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop! Okay, so this is what it looks like and you know it has Jaclyn at the back. Hey Jaclyn! Awkward if you're watching. But anyway, um, if you're from Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia and Thailand, I think, you can get your hands on the Becca Cosmetics highlighters and illuminators over at Luxola.com and I'll place the links in the description box down below and I paid $58 for this but I had credit so I only paid like $53 but anyway it is gore to the jazz this is how it looks like it's so amazing I am so obsessed with it now I cannot I just cannot deal with it anyway I'm taking this um, highlighter brush by 13 rushes and I'm just going to place that at the top of my cheekbone and be amazed by how this is gonna look like okay And then I'm also going to drag it to uh, under my brow bone as well, just to give it... Can you... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm like killing everybody with this light right here. Look at it! It's like so... Uh. My heart cannot take this much of highlighter. Now, moving on to the last step, which is the lips. I'm going to be taking Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Chianti. Chianti, I'm not sure. But this is the mini size that I got in the Christmas set that Sephora sold. And this one came with a set of six, if I'm not wrong. So I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks but um, Gigi Hadid had like really glossy lips so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this lipstick by um, Urban Decay which is the uh, Revolution Lipstick in Venom and I'm just going to pop that on top of the Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick just to add a little bit more purple as in like a fuchsia kind of purple and a little bit more shine. Now to top it all off, I'm taking this NARS lip gloss um, called, oh, it's just called shade number 3 because I think this came like in a press set or something. So I'm just going to put this gloss um, on top of the lip combo. And this is the finished look. So that's it for today's video you guys. I hope you liked it. Before I go, um, I have an idea to run by you guys. And sorry, I'm just imagining like you guys are literally in front of me. But anyway, I digress. I really want to put up videos that you guys want to see every week. So um, I have a couple of videos that I have in mind that I want to film. So what I want to do is that every week I'm gonna after each video I'm gonna let you guys know that I have a um, poll link or like a survey link in the description box below or I'm just gonna put it around the area and what I want you guys to do is choose between the two um, choices of video ideas I have and the video choices that will have 
that get the most votes will be the video that I'll post up um, the coming week. So I hope that this will be easier for you guys or something, not really easier for you guys, but more like you guys letting me know what um, you want to watch for that week so that um, I don't disappoint anybody because that's the last thing I want to do. And I think that this could be fun because then you can kind of tell me like really really tell me like or let me know which videos um, you want to see instead of me just picking it out by myself. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say for this video or this week's video. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend and have a good time with your family and your friends. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos from me and I upload every Every Friday at 12 p.m. Singapore time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video next week.